Hi there everyone, this is Mr. Fred from GetMeCoding.com and in this video tutorial using GameFruit we're going to look at how we can customize some of these features in this tool a little bit further. So coming over here to the left hand side you can see that you have your scripts icon but above that um, is also your game objects icon and in here there's a button that says add game object. When you click that you're going to see that you can actually upload new objects, create animation, show character creator and show the marketplace. In an earlier uh, video, I talked about the marketplace and where you can continue to see packs being added that can actually extend your game development out. What I'd like to go over though right now is though, something called show character creator. And this is a really fun one because when you come in here, it allows you to build characters right inside of Game Fruit. Now, you're gonna see that you're gonna start off and you can kind of walk through this. If you're a Nintendo fan, maybe you've done this on the Wii or the Wii U or you built out your characters and so on or some of the other uh, gaming platforms. But I'm gonna grab a face and then I can come in here and I can select some eyes. And it shows you a little bit of a preview there. And I have some mouths. I could add, ah, you know, eyebrows. We could have them looking like they're running along. Some hair, we could do all kinds of fun stuff with hair. And let's see, we could scroll down even and give ourselves a little bit of a mohawk. So we're kind of looking very punkish there. Got some hats. You can make yourself maybe look like something from Star Wars. It looks like a stormtrooper helmet with a mohawk. Uh, and, and then we have accessories. You could add all kinds of uh, other things. You could see glasses and mustaches and um, sideburns and everything like that. Now, when you click on through these, you're going to see this gets extended out a little bit more. And then you can pick your body and the rest is history. So I'm gonna click on this mechanical looking dude. Uh, I'm gonna give him some clothes, maybe look more like a stormtrooper in that sense. And I'm gonna even give him a cape. All right, so there it is. Next is gonna be the legs. Give him a little bit of a mechanical look. If you wanna add some more pants, I could do that. <laughs> and if you wanna change up the shoes, which they look pretty good, I'm gonna give him some red shoes. How's that? Yeah. All right. So also the arms, I think you get the idea. Now, once again, you're limited by what's in this setting here, but it allows you to have a little bit of fun. Um, you have some sleeves, you could put on some looks here and then you have accessories. Uh, these are just basically like shoulder pads or items that you can kind of just add to the top. We have some skin. Um, oh, we already went through that. Weapons, of course, is the one area that everybody seems to like to spend a lot of time. You can assign a, a particular kind of weapon here and there you're off and running and then ultimately what they would look like when the character is actually destroyed or killed off right so you can be a skeleton or you can be an explosion we'll just do an explosion i can click save the character now once that is in there you're going to see that it's being saved out there and it'll appear here under miscellaneous now i've spoken with the creators of game fruit and we've uh, recognized a little bit of a glitch and i want to go over that and how to deal with it right now. First, I could take my character now and I could add them in game. Of course, it doesn't have a script attached to it, meaning it doesn't have any AI, it doesn't have any intelligence. So if you've already added the Game Fruit Classic Pack, this particular AI is readily available. And if you scroll down, oh, excuse me, actually I scrolled past it. The AI is under scripts. And we have the classic platform player and the classic platform AI. Clicking on that AI, come over here, click on my guy. Now it's gonna come after me as, as a character. Okay, so what if you wanna create another character of, of your, uh, your own imagination? So come in here once again, you're gonna add a game object and we're gonna create a character again. This time I'm gonna go with some kind of zombie kind of dude here. Uh, let's see, we already... Got some hair going on him. I'm gonna give him a hat. Nah. Oh, well, that's interesting. So we can go there. The body. I'm gonna give him a zombie-ish looking body. We can give him some legs, some zombie legs. We don't have to give him arms, but yeah, we'll give him some arms. He's gonna walk around like that. Now, as far as the death goes, we'll make him turn into like a, a skeleton. Now I click save the character. It's going out there, it's saving it out to the Game Fruit servers, and, and there it appears. Now, if by chance the object does not appear here in miscellaneous, one way around that is to click on Add Game Object, Upload New, and then Done. What it does is it'll do a quick refresh and a reload. So, 
They may have fixed it, but the one way around it, if you're encountering that, depending upon your web browser, is just simply, once again, to go into Add Game Object and let it go out there. So now, if we want to play our game, we're going to come out here. You're going to see it render. And now he's coming after us. Uh, and he's going to jump. And I'm going to jump. And that's all she wrote. Okay. So I hope this particular tutorial helps you create some really, really unique non-player characters or player characters in your game.